Welcome to The Mill, a podcast brought to you by Mill & Co. We're an advertising agency specializing in strategy, creative ideation, and execution. I'm your host, Rachel Balatori, the founder and CEO of Mill & Co. Today's segment is our Four for Founders, where we interview founders and CEOs of businesses across the country. Today, I'm excited to have a friend of mine, Ernanda White. She's the founder of Black Girls Drone. Ernanda, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Rachel, for having me. Of so course. excited. Yes, of course. Arnanda is a growth hacker, executive coach, and an entrepreneur with over 15 years of experience as an entrepreneur, techie, and creative. She has served as an advisor for technological advancement in school districts, an advocate for risk youth from undeserved communities, uh, underserved communities rather, and an educator to young adults in career development. She is the founder of Black Girls Drone Inc., a drone ed tech startup platform providing drone literacy through an app with hands-on flight training to empower women and girls from underserved communities with drone workforce technology education. Incredible. Thank you. I so, really appreciate it. So happy to Sounds have you easy. here. Sounds <laughs> easy. You know, it sounds easy until you have to read your bio and it's filled with these incredible words. I mean, it's just amazing what you're doing. And I'm so honored to have you here today. Arnanda, I'd love to know what motivates you to be successful? Oh, well, a lot of things can um, answer that question. Um, but I think the most important thing is helping others. And in this time, um, being really empathetic um, to everyone's needs. Um, I'm motivated by seeing other people succeed, actually. Um, that's just like one of the biggest joys, knowing that um, I can influence people to do really great things and help them reach their highest potential. You know, I think one of the best qualities any business owner can have is empathy. And with empathy comes the ability to find joy and happiness and success when you watch others succeed. And so I think that's an amazing quality of yours, which is so clearly evident in this business that you're building. Um, you know, I'd love to know when when the idea for Black Girls Drone Incorporated came to you, you know, what made you take that leap into making this an organization? Um, well, I can tell you it was not easy. Um, it was very hard. Um, I was coming off of a layoff myself, actually, and wondering what would be next. You know, what would that look like? And wondering what the future of my career in uh, tech space would be. And um, I was able to revisit um, some old passions that were reignited um, after speaking with a business partner. And actually, she's my um, unofficial co-founder. And she helped me to reframe what's next. And I took the leap of faith. I started doing more research um, after having given a uh, couple of tech talks and presentations um, during that, um, I guess, that period of letting go um, from my previous job, which was during the holidays of 2019 Christmas. So it was not an easy time mm -hmm. um, to think about becoming a founder. It really should have been a selfish time for me, but I used that time to do some inward thinking and, um, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. so who knew this would be the outcome? But <laughs> I'm thankful that I had a friend that could see the best in me. Absolutely. I think, you know, one of the best things I've done for myself as a business owner is surrounding myself with people who are smarter than me, who know more than me, and that can motivate me to do things that I wasn't prepared to do on my own. Um, so that, that's wonderful. And it's, it's certainly not a weakness. I think it's a strength to, to own your vulnerabilities. So that's, that's great. You know, aside from COVID-19, uh, which we all know is very challenging for many people and businesses, what are some challenges that you've faced being the founder of Black Girls Drone and what did you do to overcome them? Oh, wow. The biggest challenge um, had been um, starting off in the unknown. You know, I'm a newbie to the space. Um, there are a lot of people that had already been in, in this space as a tech entrepreneur. Mm. I've had other entrepreneur ventures that I've started before, selling clothes and jewelry, being in the fashion and retail industry, um, in e-commerce. Um, definitely had not stepped out into the tech space. I think what encouraged me um, the most to do it was having confidence in myself and my skills and my ability and knowing that I was going to be able to reach out to a social network despite facing those obstacles of the unknown. A lot of my challenges were just really um, getting familiar with um, what I wanted the business to look like, um, what I really wanted it to be, and, and how I wanted to go about presenting it to other people who didn't really know 
what you could do with drones. So I had to really step back and learn from others and kind of watch what they were doing. But again, time was kind of starting to tick because I smash dab ran into COVID and had to pivot quickly. So that was a bigger obstacle that I had to face and challenge. Absolutely. And this isn't on my questions, but how did things go for you in in 2020 and how how are things looking for Black Girls Drone moving forward? Sure. Things are looking great now. Like, um, of course, there are always the usual business challenges that come with being a business owner and an operator, um, finding your niche market and finding and developing your audience. Um, And I think uh, those are things that are continuous. They never stop. You never stop learning. You never stop growing. You never stop developing who you are as a business. But um, we were able to survive and uh, rely on the social capital network that we have built during COVID and also continue to build those collaborative and relationship building um, fundamentals that are so healthy and so needed, especially during these times. So you know you're not alone. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's a, such a great point. And I, I feel that wholeheartedly is, although we have been isolated and quarantined, I, I definitely feel feel my support system and ecosystem around me. So I'm, I'm glad to hear you feel the same. Um, <laughs> last question for you, Ananda, what advice would you give to someone who may be in your shoes when you were right at the beginning of launching Black Girls Drone? What would you say to them right now? Hmm. I would say don't give up. Don't think what you're doing is crazy and have confidence in your ability. Um, stand firm in your belief, you know, about yourself, about what's true and hold on to people that are really close to you and get to know people that are really far away from you. Um, wh- write out a wish list and say, hey, if I could, you know, be the magic genie of yourself, of your own destiny. Um, it's not easy. It, it doesn't come, you know, overnight. But thoughtful um, introspect and really um reaching out to those communities and joining new communities since the social trend is all on the digital space, you can find out where people are now and really get the support you need. Absolutely. And in fact, for our viewers, Arnanda and I were connected through an online women's networking group of which I, I belong to many. And I'm sure, Ananda, you you do the same thing. And it has been a true source, not only of just mutual colleagues and people that can help each other, but I've also one business through those networks um, and met a lot of people that have joined my roster as creatives and strategists. So I think personally as a business owner, what's been the most impactful for me is, especially in a time of COVID when networking in person is just a a non-reality, these digital networks have been a game changer for my business. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Um, Just finding out where they are um, is not as hard as you think, Mm -hmm. Um, a simple Google search or just start with one, you know, um, and it just depends on what your business, um, what business outcomes you have outlined for yourself. I would tell anyone to utilize the SBA, you know, get there first. Your local SBA has tons of resources, the Small Business Development Centers, SBDC, tons of resources and just go from there. And if it's industry um, businesses that you're looking to, uh, uh, you know, um, come in contact with, I would say, look for your industry associations that would normally have all of these um, events in person and find out they're all online and join those associations in their communities online. That's, that's great advice. And it's, it's advice that I'm still telling myself three years into owning my own business. And so it's, uh, it definitely rings true for a very long time. But Arnanda, that's all I have for you today. I'm so honored and grateful that you were able to, to join us for this today's podcast. Um, for more information about Arnanda or Black Girls Drone or to watch more content from The Mill, please visit us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Uh, until next time, Arnanda, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.